What's up guys? So today we have uh, another little project. We are going to be doing brakes for my 2014 Silverado. So let's get to it. All right, so first things first, we need to uh, remove the cap for the for our wheels. Already did, and uh, we're gonna loose up the the bolts that uh, or the lug nuts. And while the truck is on the floor, obviously, it's pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Everybody should know this. Um, then we're gonna jack up the truck. Already got the jack over there. Puts jack stands on it. Already got some. And now we're going to remove the wheel and take a look at the brakes. Alright guys, so we got the wheel off and um, there's going to be two 13 millimeters holding the caliper in place. And then we got our trusty bucket here. We're going to put the caliper on there. Uh, you don't want it dangling from the line. And um, I'm going to do this video about a wheel hub... Uh, centering centric rings and because i had this issue so i'm going to be do, doing another video for that so anyways so let me remove the two bolts holding the the caliper in place and then we'll start swapping out the the pads my mistake well it looks like we need an open wrench as well um for this nut that's in here or else the the bolt just uh, free spins and i have a 13 16 but it's a little loose but it's all right because i'm just using it to hold the, the that nut so it doesn't spin with the bolt so it works out fine there's a 13 16 and it's slightly big and uh three quarters of an inch it's just slightly uh too small so it's in between those and unfortunately i don't have one that's exactly for it but I'm gonna use this one for now. Uh, it's working fine, so we'll do this. And if it doesn't work, I'll let you guys know what I use. Okay, guys. So I did decide to use a new uh, little metal brackets. Uh, real simple to install. It takes probably 10 seconds. Um, here's the old ones. I mean, since you're already doing new brakes, might as well do those. And uh, they just they just go under. There's nothing to them. Uh, but I greased up the bottoms so wherever they touch the the caliper bracket and I greased up the top for the for the pads when they slide back and forth so that's how you do that I'm gonna do the other side it'll be exactly the same thing and then I'll move up to the front and I'll show you guys what that's like alright guys let me show you what my brake pads look after uh, 80,000 miles They're about, uh, they're real thin. That's 80,000 miles on the truck. So we're going to replace those. It's some new ones. And this brakes come with this new hardware. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if you need to use it. I don't think so. So I'm just going to. I'm gonna leave those there, clean them up, mm, push that piston in, uh, slap in uh, some uh, some grease here for the contact points so we don't get uh, any squeaking. And I'm gonna move on to the other side. So I'll show you guys when I get this side done. All right guys, so for the front, you're gonna need a 19 millimeter open wrench and a 19 millimeter socket. Um, for the nut and the and the bolt, so it's two of them. So I gotta remove those. I'm gonna do that, and I'll check the front pads, compare them to the back. <laughs> Let me show you guys what the what the pads look like, the old versus the new. Uh, give me a second. You guys can see how much they're worn down. 80,000 miles. 
So I'm about to swap them out. This one's the front ones don't come with the little uh, bracket hardware. I mean those little clips. So I'm just gonna clean this ones up, put some uh, grease on them, and slap these new puppies on. So that's pretty much how you change the brakes. Or a uh, pretty simple, straightforward instruction video on, for the changing brakes on the 2014 Silverado two-wheel drive. So this is not a it's not a four x four. So it might be different for a four x four, but that's pretty much it. There you guys have it. We'll see you in the next one. Yes,